Introducing the innovative and cost-efficient panel system from PJT Manufacturing. With the PJT panel system, you can save time, material, and money, making your business more efficient and profitable. So let's get started. We've been using the panel system for several years and have come up with a system that works for us. Here's a quick list of equipment we recommend you bring to the job site. First, and most important, one set of PJT panels that are supplied a pour tip that fits the foaming gun you're going to use, a planer, a cordless drill with two and a half inch screws. We found that using Torx head screws works best and we recommend you use them as well. A good leaf blower for cleanup. Toro has worked best for us. They're not very expensive and we can find them locally for about $60 at a hardware store. An air power wire brush which is available at additional cost. Keep in mind you need the right safety equipment and always wear the proper clothing. Additionally, anyone using the system must adhere to the manufacturer's safety standards. Crew size varies around the industry, but using the PJT panels, we found that a two-man crew is ideal. One man is the foamer and the other is the helper. Step one, preheat your machine to 115 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Your hose pressure should be set between 800 and 900 pounds with results varying in different areas. Step 2. While your foaming machine is preheating, now is the time to get some cleanup done. The home should be swept clean to make for a more efficient workspace. This is going to save you time and money and allow your crew to work quicker and more efficiently. Step 3. It's important to take the time to identify problem areas in the home. After identifying the challenges, you can then plan your workflow much more effectively, saving you time and money. Here, in this example, a wood stove is already installed in the home. We're going to take a few minutes to wrap it to make sure it stays clean and then we're ready to work around it. Step 4. In our crew system, one man will begin attaching the poly to the stud wall, stapling at the top, bottom, sides, and around all the windows. It is important to keep the poly as tight as possible and to make sure that you've covered all the windows. Step 5. After the poly has been properly stapled to the walls, it's time to start attaching the panels with two screws in the middle and one at the top. Now that your machine is preheated, test the foam on the floor. Watch how the foam reacts. It should grow and then, very slightly, set back. Now we're ready to start foaming. Step 7. Working with two or more cavities, start foaming at the bottom of the first cavity, about one to one and a half feet up. Push the tip through the poly. As you start to foam, watch the bottom plate. And as soon as you see the foam expand, stop and go to the next cavity and repeat the process identically. The timing should work out that about the time you finish foaming the second cavity, the expansion of the foam in the first cavity should be complete. Now you go back to the first cavity and repeat the foaming process one to two feet above the expanded foam in the first cavity. Repeat all the way to the top, alternating cavities one to two feet at a time. Step 8. We recommend utilizing the two-man team in a leapfrog manner. While one man will do the foaming, the other man, or helper, will handle the panel placement. After a panel is foamed, the second man moves the first panel to the wall section ahead of the foamer. Simply complete this process until the wall is complete. After completion, Walk the wall looking for big holes. These can quickly and easily be patched with a quick burst from the gun. Just hold your hand over it not to make a mess. Step 9. After the foamer has begun work on the next section of the wall, the second man in the team can now begin smoothing down the walls with a plane. First, he pulls the poly down from the top, leaving the bottom attached and stretches the poly out on the floor. 
He then planes the wall from top to bottom, letting the setup foam fall onto the plastic. After the wall is planed, the plastic can be rolled up and removed to the dumpster or out of the way. This job doesn't take a great deal of time and should not interfere with the helper's primary responsibility of shifting the panels ahead of the foamer. After the helper is cleaned and scraped, he needs to double check the work with a Hilti handheld foam gun. He can patch minor cracks and holes quickly and easily. Chapter 5, Finishing Up. Continue the process until the home is completely finished. After checking the walls with the Hilti handheld foam gun, the final cleanup work gets done. Using the PJT panels as outlined in this DVD, an experienced two-man crew can get the entire job done quickly and efficiently. Start saving time and money. Order your PJT panel system today. Contact John or Trevor at 406-245-3636 or email us at pjt at bresnan.net. Thank you for taking the time to review this DVD on the unique PJT manufacturing insulation panels and foaming system. Please feel free to contact us with any additional questions. We're here to help you make your insulation business more efficient and more profitable. Thank you.